Hello, wonderful people. Welcome back to my channel, The Teacher's Best Friend. And thank you for coming back to watch my channel. So I know most of you teachers are having fun already because your summer break started. And some of you are uh, wishing and hoping that in a few days, you will start your summer break and it's going to be a lot of fun. And this is sometimes the most awaited uh, moment of the teachers to have their summer break and enjoy. And for this afternoon's episode, I am going to just share with you how to make use of your time during summer vacation. So being a teacher, I know it's stressful. Sometimes it's tiring to, you know, prepare lessons, deliver instructions every day and, and so on and so forth. And I salute all of you for being so hard working. And you made it to the end of the year, the school year, in the midst of this pandemic. So hooray to all of you wonderful teachers. And uh, are you ready to have some fun? So let's begin the episode for this afternoon. So today's episode is about teachers just want to have fun. And how are we going to have fun? What to do for summer break? So have you already thought of uh, what are you going to do during your summer break? Or are you ready to enjoy it? And let's have some fun. So first, number one thing that you need to remember when your summer break from school starts, forget about it. Forget about school, forget about classroom, forget about lessons. And this is just for a while, I know. Forget about it. So that is the number one rule. Forget about work, you're on vacation. So don't ever think about your lessons. Don't ever think about what to do for the next school year. I know summer break, it's going to be very short. But my number one advice for you teachers in order for you to enjoy your summer vacation is forget about school for a while, okay? So number two, explore new hobbies. So I know teachers are very creative. They like arts and crafts and a lot more, but you have to start exploring new hobbies. And what are those things that you can maybe try doing this summer? Try scuba diving, go to the beach, swim, learn how to snorkel and so forth and so on. You can also enroll in a karate or taekwondo classes, short classes over the summer. You can travel, you can go on a cruise and take some pictures. And of course, don't forget to bring your brushes and canvas. You can paint as well. And for some of you, you may want to explore music, like learn how to play guitar, piano, or ukulele, simple things like that. And you can even do outdoor activities. Those are some hobbies that you can do during the summer break and a lot more. So explore new hobbies. If you haven't tried the things that I mentioned, this is the time to try them, okay? So number three, take some time alone. Take some time alone because during the year, we're always with people, with our colleagues, with our students and everyone in the workplace. And summer break is just our time to take some time for ourselves, take some time alone. So like Mandy Hale say, learn to be alone and to like it. There is nothing more freeing and empowering than learning to like your own company. So sometimes we just need ourselves to be our own company. So take some time alone to work, to walk in the park by yourself, you know, observe the trees, uh, the birds, the butterflies, the flowers, and so on. And take some time alone for meditation as well, for prayer, and to just listen to your heart's desires and so on. 
So take some time alone. That is very relaxing. Okay, that's number three. Number four, you need to start reflecting. So reflect, reflect, reflect. What do we need to reflect? I know I told you it's time for vacation, but sometimes being alone and thinking out uh, just yourself, um, you know, being alone, you can start reflecting. Like, what did I do this year that are successful? What made me uh, enjoy this school year? What are the things that my students, uh, you know, enjoy doing in my class? So what are the lessons that are, uh, or strategies that are enjoyable to my students? So those are just some reflections so that you can at least look back. I'm not saying think about lesson planning, think about your lessons and professional development and all that. Just some kind of reflection and know what are the success stories you had for the year or what are some areas that you might want to improve next time you come back to school. So take time to reflect, not only on your profession, but in life in general, okay? So reflection. The fifth one, connect with family and friends. So summertime, vacation, this is the time we can connect to our family. Like if you have kids, uh, your family, you, it's time for you to, you know, just go out and have some picnic. Or if you want to get uh, a short road travel, visit a place, although it's pandemic, but it's still safe to go visit places that are not very crowded. Connect with your family, have some quality time. And don't forget, you can invite your friends to have some coffee to take, uh, you know, just walk in the in the park together or go to the gym together, things like that. Start connecting and making quality time during summer break, okay? In a family, love is spelled as time. So let's spend quality time with our family and friends. And it says there's no Wi-Fi out there, but we promise you will not, you will not find a better connection, okay? So, uh, Things like going to the forest, there's no Wi-Fi, but uh, there is nothing better than just listening to the nature and enjoying the nature with your family and friends. So that's number five. And number six, summer break is also a time to enrich your career. So if you already spend some time for vacation, for your hobbies, you can also find short-term uh, professional development or some uh, exciting uh, talk or conferences that you can attend this summer to enrich your profession as a teacher. Find some career development that are fun, okay? That makes you uh, enjoy your summer and at the same time enrich your profession as a teacher. So. Think about, uh, you know, teachers are, uh, when you are a teacher, learning is never ending. So sometimes even if you are doing your own uh, hobbies or pastime or even with something else, you still need to take time to enrich your professional career, okay? So those are the things that we can do over the summer. Don't forget to just take some time alone for yourself. Have a quality time with your family. Enjoy new hobbies and reflect, reflect, reflect. Summer break is not going to be long. So enjoy while it's last. So have a great summer vacation to all of you wonderful teachers. And I wish you all well. And I hope uh, you are all refreshed rejuvenated when you come back for the next school year. So just for now, enjoy and have fun because teachers deserve to be, uh, to have some fun, okay? Teachers just wanna have some fun. 
So a big thank you to all of you for doing a great job for this school year. And uh, for uh, my next episode, I wish to see all of you next week. And for now, I would like to request if you haven't uh, subscribed to my channel, please do so. Please like and subscribe. And see you next time, wonderful teachers and wonderful people. Bye for now. And to God be the glory. See you. Bye.